Early naturalists thought that there were 30 different species of coatis in the New World because of the variation in their color, morphology, and behavior. Even males and females behaved so differently that they were thought to be a different species. After much study and DNA results, it appears that there are only three full species of coatis. Coatis have a unique social structure. Males are solitary, but the females live in highly organized groups with complex social interactions. These groups or bands have about 15 members on the average. These interactions include grooming each other, nursing each other's offspring, and fending off predators as a group. The benefits of living in a band of coatis include better access to food, as in this case where one in the group found some corn accidentally dropped by a farmer, which does point out that farmers really don't like coatis, nor raccoons for that matter. Both are members of the same family, the raccoon family. Coatis are kind of like daytime raccoons. There does seem to be a lot of squabbling in the band, which seems to depend on factors such as age, class, and relatedness. Here a white-faced capuchin monkey and the white-nosed coati are eating the fruit of the damas tree. This may seem odd that they seem to be enjoying the fruit just centimeters apart, when it is well known that capuchins attack and eat coati babies. Coatis are common throughout Costa Rica. They are at home, on the ground, or in the forest canopy. That long, flexible snout is a great tool to find food. It's tipped with a super nose that can sniff out insects and fruit almost anywhere. Of course, it doesn't take much to sniff out a dead armadillo. They are constantly digging around looking for arthropods of all sorts, but they have a huge range of diet, which includes spiders, turtle eggs, lizards, rodents, frogs, snakes, and as you've seen, carrion. They are big on fruit, too. All females of the band come into heat at the same time, and mating occurs in about a two-week period. It's not just one male that shows up at estrus time, but other males come around too. There is no respect between males at this time. So if all mating is synchronous, there is a subsequent reign of babies three months later. Before giving birth, females leave the band, only returning some five to six weeks later. Then it's time to hit the road with the band, so to speak. Well, coatis are mostly diurnal, but they will get active at night if food is involved. This mountain coati lives in cloud forests and paramo in the Andes of Colombia and Ecuador. And the South American coati, or ring-tailed coati, lives throughout most of South America east of the Andes. Color varies over their range, but they all behave like coatis, which by now you must get. Now you know where mosquitoes got their blood before you came around.